Hello and welcome to time series forecasting. In the previous video, I introduced you to the concept of time series decomposition in which we decompose our time series based on various patterns that we observed in a time series. In this video, I'm going to revisit the three patterns that I talked about earlier to refresh our memories and then we will use uh, these uh, three patterns to decompose any time series uh, in these uh, three components. The first component that we talked about was uh, the trend component which was a long term increase or decrease in a time series. And we saw that a time series may exhibit uh, increase or decrease over time. So in this case, the value of this time series is uh, decreasing over the long period of time. Hence, there is a decreasing trend in this series. On the other hand, a time series may also show us an increasing trend in which case, in the long run, the series is going uh, upward. So see here, there may be ups and downs in this series, but in the long run, we see a clear trend in the series which is going uh, upward. So this type of uh, pattern in a time series is called a trend pattern. So one thing to note here is that uh, the trend can also change. For example, in this case, we are having an increasing trend in this part of the series and a decreasing trend in this part of the series. So a series can also show us uh, a trend which can uh, change from uh, upward to downward or from downward to upward as in this case. So this is the first pattern that you may observe in a time series. The second pattern uh, that we may observe is called seasonality where we observe ups and downs, those are of fixed and uh, known frequency. And uh, this type of uh, pattern emerged in a series because of uh, seasonality in the data set. Uh, uh, it could be day of the week, month of the week, or any season that is uh, affecting any time series in a regular fashion. So we may observe seasonality in the data set. And then we may observe cyclicality in the data set, uh, which means there may be random fluctuations. Uh, that is, your series may go up and down without any fixed and uh, known frequency. And that uh, pattern is called a cycle pattern. So these are the three patterns that we can observe in a time series. The trend pattern, which is a long run increase or decrease in a time series. Seasonality, which is a fixed and known frequency that repeats itself over and over again in a time series. And then there may be some ups and downs in a time series of not fixed and known frequency. And uh, those um, are called uh, cyclical patterns. So these are the three major patterns that we may observe in a time series. In the next video, I'm going to talk about uh, time series decomposition in which we will decompose a time series uh, into these three patterns so that uh, we can have more information about various patterns in a time series. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.